All right, this is Gabe Henry. He's an instructor at Utah Helicopter. Say hi, Gabe. Hi. And this is Jen. She's our student for the day. And Gabe's going to teach us about how to do a, a pre-flight on the helicopter, a startup here. All right, this is the R-22 start and run-up checklist that we have here at Utah Helicopter. Yeah, let me get close up to that one there. Oh, yeah, nice and long. I got it. Okay. All right. First thing it says for us to do before engine start, we need to check pressure, altitude, and temperature. In order to check pressure, altitude, we set the altimeter 29 or 9 or 2. It says 5,000 or 4,700 feet. We'll set that back to field elevation. Checking the temperature, master switch on, says 29 degrees Celsius. Flipping the checklist over, we get uh, VNE and manifold pressure limits. At 4,000 feet and 30 degrees, it says 91 knots. 4,000 feet and 30 degrees, we have 22 inches. We get to add 0.9 onto that for five minutes. So we have 22 and 22.9 that we can pull. Continuing on, we're going to do our seat belts on and fasten. Safety first. Safety first. The cyclic and collective friction off. So I'll hold the checklist for you right here. Go ahead and grab your controls. Take the friction off here. Friction off here. We want to do a control check like this. All the way up and around. Make sure they don't interfere with each other. Around here. Roll the throttle off. Pedals all the way down. Back to the neutral position. Friction back on. <coughs> that was the checks right here. Cyclic collection, cyclic and collective friction. Pedals, throttle. Uh, pedals are neutral. Landing light switch off. Governor switch off. Circuit breakers are right here. You want to make sure and push these, ensuring that they are all down. Uh, mixture is fuel rich right here. Fuel rich. Mixture guard is installed. That's this. Uh, the primer, it would be right here. We don't have one, but that would be down and locked. Clutch disengaged. Altimeter set. We did that in the beginning. Rotor brake disengaged. It's right here behind your head. We'll release that. Rotor brake right up there. Now it says engine start and run up. Here we would give it, if it was cold, we'd give the throttle a few twists. If it's not, it's been running. Throttle closed, all the way closed. Master switch on, strobe light on. Area clear. And we'd give this throttle, or give the key a twist right there to fire it up. Ready to go. Perfect. 